I'd like to share two stories to give you a sense of what this looks like in the state of Maryland. A 16-year-old teen, born and raised in Maryland, was trafficked by a man in his 20s who romanced her, bought her gifts, and pretended to be her boyfriend. He duped her into going with him to a hotel where she was raped by a man that he had arranged to be there. Her boyfriend was actually a pimp who sold her for sex so that he could make money to feed his drug habit. He controlled her by threatening to harm her mother. And then he got her hooked on heroin, which gave him another way to control her. In another case, a young woman was lured here with the promise of the American dream, a job, a better life, and the ability to support her young child. But instead, the job that awaited her was forced prostitution, and she was thrust into a life of fear, trauma, and cruelty. She worked seven days a week and was forced to have sex as many as 30 times a day. And if she did not hand over $3,000 to her traffickers each week, they threatened her at knife point, and they beat her brutally. To ensure that she did not try to escape, they threatened the life of her daughter, who was being held captive by the parents of the traffickers in her home country. She was trafficked up and down the East Coast along the the I-95 corridor from New York to the Carolinas, with much of the trafficking occurring here in Maryland, in Montgomery County, in Prince George's County, in Baltimore, and in DC. Unfortunately, these stories are not isolated incidents, but they are patterns that we see over and over again at the Safe Center. Governor Hogan, the initiatives that you announced today will support our collective work. Thank you for your strong commitment to helping human trafficking survivors heal and reclaim their lives. We're here this morning to make some important announcements about a serious issue that people sometimes are reluctant to address. As a father, you know, I'm heartbroken for these daughters and sons who are being victimized and brutalized. As governor, I'm committed to ensuring that not only are these violent perpetrators brought to justice, but that we also provide the resources necessary to help these survivors recover their lives.